I'm gonna be real open with you today and I'm gonna show you. I don't wanna say damage, but I'm gonna just show you the masterpiece. That's what we're gonna talk about today. The masterpiece of childbirth, okay? This is what my babies gave me. This should be beautiful to us because this is a sign that we were able to make human beings. We were able to create life, to make a person with our amazing bodies. But what I really wanted to talk to you is about loving the body, loving how our bodies have changed after giving birth, having created a child with our very own bodies. It's amazing. And so this is the perfect shirt. This shirt is from Life Wonderfully Designed. I feel like getting a tummy tuck is not addressing the underlying issue. If I don't address the real issue, which is essentially just loving my body and being grateful for the changes after having babies, after nursing babies, as I age, I'm getting older, I just feel like a tummy tug is just gonna be a temporary fix because sure, I'll cut off the extra skin that's hanging over my pants all the time. It'll be tight and I'll be happy about that. But then, you know what? Five, 10 years from now, I'm gonna be like, oh, but look at my skin, it's sagging. I got all these wrinkles and then I'm gonna have to get like a facelift. And then I'm gonna be like, but look at my butt. It's like totally sagging. And then I'm gonna have to get a butt lift and get butt implants. And I just feel like it's gonna be like a never ending thing if I go down that road. So I've decided not to go ahead with the tummy tuck and to simply work on loving my body more, loving my baby making machine. I mean, that's what this is. I hope I'm not being totally contradictory because I do love to get facials and laser treatments and you know, I like to do those types of things, but like with anything, it's good to have a good, it's good to not be too extreme with different things. This is a masterpiece. God gave us that gift of childbirth. After having four babies, I shouldn't feel that I have to have this perfect body just because I have a little saggy belly. I think I can live with it and I think I can look at it in a different way and see it as beauty because we're aging it's gonna i don't want to say like get worse from here but i want to age gracefully and i want to be grateful for every new stage of my body i wrote a blog post about this called loving your body after baby and i shared the quote by gordon b hinckley and he talks about his wife i read this from his book like 15 years ago and I was young I didn't have wrinkles I had no baby so I had no post baby body everything was great but for some reason this part of his book really stood out to me and it's been something that I've never forgotten and it's been such a just a beautiful way of looking at the aging body. He says, as I look at her across the table one evening recently, I noted the wrinkles in her face and hands, but are they less beautiful? No, in fact, they are more so. Those wrinkles have a beauty of their own and inherent in their presence is something that speaks reassuringly of strength and integrity and a love that runs more deeply and quietly than ever before. Oh, I mean, isn't that so beautiful? I just love that so much because he talks about how aging is, a, is beautiful and it's part of life and we should embrace it and we should be grateful for it and, and know that our shriveled up saggy bellies are a sign of life, are a sign of a gift that God has given us. We should be proud of our bodies and our the way that they change over the years. My message is to simply get in a better place with our body image and not hating the changes of our bodies after having babies. And that's, that's simply what I wanna work on more for myself.